Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video. And welcome to another tutorial on how to upgrade your pre-existing plugin to Gutenberg and WordPress 5. From a developer that hates plugins, here's a plugin that doesn't suck. Elementor is the best page builder for WordPress. Super light, scalable, and with an intuitive interface, Elementor will help you build professional looking websites in few minutes. Click the link in the description below to learn more. Today we're gonna tackle the issue of having custom taxonomies appearing properly in the new block editor of WordPress called Gutenberg. A little disclaimer, if it's the first time that you're watching these videos, if you're new to the channel, first like, hey, welcome, it's so good to have you here. But we're using a custom plugin that we coded throughout this entire plugin series. If you don't wanna follow the 60 plus videos that I did before and have the same plugins that we have right now, you can download the entire source code on my GitHub repository. You can find the link in the description below the video and you can download the code related to the lesson that you're watching. Right now is lesson 58, so you can easily download lesson 57, install the plugin in your WordPress installation and be up and running. If you're interested in learning how to build everything that we built from scratch, just go to my YouTube channel that you're currently watching, click on the playlist and select the WordPress plugins development tutorials playlist, where you can find all the tutorials from the introduction to this very own last uploaded video, where you will learn how to build a plugin with object oriented programming, starting from scratch. And you will learn a bunch of cool things, both for PHP and uh, WordPress and uh, ES JavaScript, SCSS, and advanced things. So it's really awesome. I strongly suggest you to do it. But if none of that applies to you and you follow this series and you just want to learn about Gutenberg, let's jump right into it. So first of all, we currently have in our plugin a custom taxonomy manager that allows us to create all the taxonomies that we want. So if we give it a try, first of all, in the add taxonomy, because we're listing automatically all the post types currently available in our system, we have this new WP block that it's available in the list of post types. And we're gonna get back to that just in a few minutes. For now, let's figure out why our custom taxonomies don't appear in our regular posts and our post types. So if we, for example, write genre as a post type, and we say, yes, this is hierarchical, and I want this genre custom taxonomy to appear only in the book custom post type that I created. If we save the changes, yes, the taxonomy is there and we actually access the book. Look at that, we have the genre we can also create a new genre, for example, like action genre. It's here, everything works, we can edit all the things, it belongs to the actual post type, it's not appearing in the testimonial, it's not appearing in the regular post, but if we create a new book, and we use Gutenberg to create a new book, we don't have our custom category, our custom taxonomy genre is not present here. And also if we try to access a book that we previously created, this custom taxonomy that we generated just doesn't appear, it's not there. And that's the same issue that we were having while generating a custom post type and why our previous custom post types weren't actually using Gutenberg by default, but they were using the classic editor. It's all about about the little attribute called show in rest. So if we access our code editor and we check where we are generating our custom taxonomy, if we access the ink base folder and here we have the custom taxonomy controller, if we check the register taxonomy, which is the method that WordPress uses in order to register a new taxonomy, here in our custom code, we are looping through all the taxonomies that we defined and we're registered them one by one. We just lack the objects and all the options that we define. If we take a look at the taxonomies array here where we are defining all the attributes that WordPress needs in order to register a new taxonomy, we're defining if it's hierarchical, if it has labels shown in the UI and so on. Also here in this case, like we did for the custom post type, we need to add another Boolean attribute that it's called in single quote show underscore in underscore rest. And this stands for show this taxonomy in the rest API version two of WordPress, which is the API delegated to handle Gutenberg and all the new fancy things happening in the new visual editor. So if we say showing rest, we throw and we save it. 
we go back in our administration area and we refresh the page. Now the genre custom post type is properly appearing in our visual editor inside Gutenberg. And we can select the actual category that we define or create a new category in line and having Gutenberg 100% recognize in our custom taxonomy. That was pretty easy. So now it's time to tackle that little thing called WP blocks because this WP block is actually a custom post type coming by default default when you have Gutenberg installed in your system and in our case that we're using WordPress 5 automatically the WP block custom post type comes in it by default. So let's give it a try. Let's create a totally random taxonomy for example let's give it a name like position whatever and then position also in this case um, let's make it hierarchical it doesn't, doesn't matter and then let's check just the WP block. If we save the changes Everything works. We have our taxonomy position properly generated, but it's not actually available anywhere. It's not available in the posts, it's not available in the books, it's not available in the testimonials, it's not available in any post types that we currently have. Because the WP block is a custom post type used by Gutenberg when you generate a reusable block. Let me show you what I mean. If we access the post of whatever post type that you have, we access a blog post where we use Gutenberg to generate a bunch of components. If for example, we select this paragraph and we decide that this paragraph is identical and it's a component and should be repeated multiple times in multiple blog posts or multiple sections of our website, we can convert these into a reusable block. When we convert a block, whatever, a paragraph, an image, or something more complex into a reusable block, we can name it, and this is like, uh, let's call it paragraph block, we save it. When we convert this now, we cannot edit this thing, we just can edit the name of the block, and whenever we create a new post in the same category, we can add, and if we scroll all the way down, we have the option to add the reusable block that we just generated, and of course we have the preview here. So if we click, we have the same exact block. This reusable block is the WP block custom post type, and we cannot actually edit it here, we cannot edit its content, we can convert it to a regular block or remove it from a reusable block but if we want to actually edit the content of these reusable blocks we need to access the WP block custom post type. In order to access them we can do it and as far as I know I don't know if WordPress is going to change something in the future we can do it by clicking the add block button and in the reusable block category we can click on manage all reusable blocks. Here we are actually inside the WP blocks custom post type that is not visible, accessible from the administration area anywhere. And here we're going to have the full list of all the reusable blocks that we generated with the ability to import a JSON file for different blocks, just like dynamically share blocks between multiple WordPress installation or even export a specific block in a JSON format. So now if we access this paragraph block that we generated, we can actually edit the title and we can also edit the content finally. But look what we have here if we click on the document view. We have the position custom taxonomy and here we can actually add the position of whatever type of taxonomy or genre or category or whatever thing you want to call it. We have it here. So the thing is, I don't really know if this is actually useful. It's something that WordPress will allow us to use uh, custom taxonomies in the blocks in order to change the behavior of the block. Right now, these taxonomies, they don't do anything other than being regular taxonomies that we cannot access and edit directly other than through the actual uh, reusable block when we access that custom post type. So. Yes, it's pretty weird. I think it's a work in progress, but the fact that this is available, if WordPress wanted to avoid the option of creating custom taxonomies for a, a reusable block, this shouldn't be present, this shouldn't be available when we list all the accessible and publicly queryable custom post types when you create our taxonomy. So this is just a thing, like for now, don't use it or experiment with it. It's not really useful in my opinion, it's just like, yeah, we can create categories for a reusable blocks that is not really accessible anywhere other than the ad block section. But 
yeah, if you find some um, usable and worthy option of this, please let me know. But it's pretty much it for this video. We updated our custom taxonomies to be usable in Gutenberg. And uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And until the next lesson, as usual, happy coding.